Good morning from the Vintage Radio and Communications Museum of Connecticut. This morning we will discuss Vladimir Zworkin's 1954 RCA 21CT55 color TV. In late September of 2023, the museum was contacted by David Neergaard of Littleton, Massachusetts. He explained that he was of advanced age and had four significant RCA TVs to donate. On 10-11-23, a group of volunteers from the museum went to David's home and discovered, among other things, he had two RCA 21CT55s, one of which David said he was given, was given as a gift by David Sarnoff to Vladimir Zworkin upon his retirement in 1954. David's dad, Leon Nergard, was an engineer for RCA. In June of 1942, he moved his family and young David from North Jersey to Princeton. Leon worked at RCA laboratories and, among other things, sat on the IRE Standards Committee and, at the end of his career, was Director of Microwave Research. In 1960, Leon was awarded the David Sarnoff Award for Outstanding Achievement in Science for the Science of Microwave Electron Tubes. His position at Princeton made him privy to many events going on at RCA at the time, including a very early test of a color system around 1936. When David was of college age in the early 1960s, Leon, his dad, was able to secure him a position into the military electronics program at RCA as a military research scientist working on low-frequency radio for submarines. During his years at RCA and Princeton, 1961-68, to 68, David earned a BA in engineering physics and a master's in electrical engineering. In 1961, David purchased this set as an employee purchase from the RCA surplus auction, along with another one for parts. His boss, Ralph S. Holmes, Director of Military Electronics at RCA was at Princeton, obtained the 21CT55 from RCA service. The set had failed at Zworkin's home in the late 1950s, and RCA replaced it with a newer model. The 21CT55 had a burned-up high-voltage transformer. David strapped the set to the roof of his VW and took it home. When the Russians made a statue of Zworkin out of marble, the set that they used as an example with the statue out of marble is a replica of the 21 CT55, as you can see here. In 2009, a movie was produced in Russia about the life of Vladimir Zworkin, and you can see on the title of the movie, the 21CT55 is used as a model for a set that Zworkin would have produced. In fact, it was actually the set that was gifted to him. At that time, a replica of the 21CT55 was used in the movie that was uh, rebuilt at the ETF, the Early Television Foundation in Columbus, Ohio, and sent off to Russia for the production. That's the set that they used for a model for the uh, statue and for the movie. Here we have the actual set that surfaced several years later. Okay, the model number is 21CT55, and this has the RCA CTC2B chassis. Uh, there are test points that were installed into the chassis. We don't know from where. It could have been at Princeton. The serial number is uh, B8800087. All 21 CT55s had serial numbers that started with B880. So this was the 87th set 
of the run pretty early. This has an extra a modified power supply. Uh, it was done very, very neatly, and it was the precursor to the power supply that was used in the RCA TM21 broadcast monitor. It has two 6080s and support cir circuitry as voltage regulators. The, the circuit was developed and tested by David, and it works well to regulate the, the 3B plus lines in the set. The service literature that was supplied to us with the set has a stamp on it from the library at Princeton, and it said, do, do not circulate on it. But I guess it's okay now. It's no secret anymore. This set, according to David, ran until the early 1980s, at which time he retired it to use a newer set. We found original tubes in this set. There were the six DC6 and three six AN8s that had a date code of 4-43. That means it would have been the 43rd week of 1954, late October, very early in the run. The 21AXP 22C, it has the CTC3 convergence chassis. This is the only RCA set that was ever produced that had two different CTC numbers for the chassis and convergence chassis. The set that followed this was a CTC4, and the convergence assembly was integrated into the chassis itself. This set was lovingly restored by the volunteer staff here at the museum, including myself, who was a technician for RCA service from 1979 to 1987. We'll be posting more information on this set and the process that we went through to restore it at our website, brcmct.org. The link will be embedded into the comment section of the video. Thank you very much. We certainly hope you can come and see this wonderful piece of history.